So over the next three days, I'm going to be taking a trip to Buscalon to join two of my friends who are going to get the traditional Mamba Batok tattoos. I think that's how you say that. It's a bit of an adventure. So we're going from Manila and I'm just going to kind of show you how to get there because I think it's becoming a more sought after thing to do as she is one of the last people in the world that can give these traditional tattoos and this village is kind of the only place you can get this done. So I'm going to show you how to get there and kind of what it takes because it's going to be a long trip. We're starting off with an 11 hour bus ride from Manila. So here we go off to the bus station. Thank you. All right. Okay, first leg, check. talk now trying to find the van or the Jeep that's gonna take us the rest of the way up to the village. Maybe get some food or something too. Oh. I think it is an honor to me to be here and get the tattoo from here. Yeah, 
Chicken boots fun because they're organic. All the kids can come and, like, and, and take something. So, yeah. And then uh, add the toothbrush oh, oh, yes. and toothpaste. Good? Thank okay. you. That's oh, you very good. You, you, it's okay, no. Christmas so better. Yes, <laughs> exactly. It's Christmas day. Oh, Christmas. Christmas season. Okay. And I have this. This is very good. Oh, first aid. Yeah, first aid. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Then, uh, we got some candy. It's uh, morning of day two. The client Pia have had their tattoos. And uh, now we're waking up to rooster calls for the second time. He started randomly in the middle of the night and then again at 5. And we're going to go see the sunrise. That's our washroom down the end there. that they're building. They said in five years, the road will go all the way up. But for now, you take that trail down there, leads you up past the waterfall, up to the village. We're about to go this way and get on a motorbike to take us down to the bus, which will take us to the bigger city to then get on the bigger bus to take us all the way back to Manila. <laughs> Down to the bare metal. 
taking the metal too? Yeah, taking the metal. Oh yeah, now we're sitting right on the roof. Back at it. Mom, don't watch this part. seen a spot out of the bus yesterday that I wanted to fly the drone so I was like oh perfect we have time I took off flew around the corner but the mountain must have gotten in the way and as I was shooting the video I wanted I lost connection and freaked out a little bit but it returned to home so we're all good there was only a minor panic and I think the, the shot looks pretty cool so now we're just waiting for the uh, bus to bond on watching the video here. I don't know why it's taking me so long to get this. I kind of forgot that I had all this footage that I hadn't put together, I guess. Like I figured when we got home, I normally just make the videos, but we had so much going on at the time that this kind of just got pushed aside for another trip and then another trip. And then with the whole global pandemic thing, things were moving really, really fast. And then all of a sudden they weren't moving at all. And I just kind of forgot about it. So this video I think was kind of cool. Our trip up to um, Bontoc and then the end there, those last couple clips were in Sagata, which is where we went on our way back to Manila. And I have a couple more videos that also kind of got pushed aside. Taylor and I took a trip to Bali and we went to Nusa Penida and Lombogan and Ubud. So that's a really cool one that again, kind of just forgot about. These videos are all from about a year ago when we were allowed to do all this cool, exciting stuff. Um, but now we're home in London, Ontario, and I've kind of got some time at the moment. So we're putting everything together here. Uh, there's actually a kind of a funny one that we started making when we were meant to be going to Singapore and I'll have to do a lot of voiceover filling that one in because the video didn't really make it very far. Maybe I'll put that together because it was kind of entertaining. Um, that we said we were going to Singapore and then suddenly yeah. in the same four hours we weren't going to Singapore. We were in the US. We were yeah, going and home. That's a whole other video. We'll get to that. <laughs> Stay tuned for that kind of stuff. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this trip to Bontoc because it was really, really cool and I would love to even just, if there's enough questions, do one of these, kind of talk about what we did, and I can even maybe get Nikolai and Pia to give a little bit more insight on their thoughts on the whole thing. But it was a really fun trip, and we it's kind of a once-in-a-lifetime thing because of the super long trip to get there and starting off in Manila, which was really helpful because trying to get even just to Manila is a long trip, and then from Manila. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.